Hello everyone, welcome to History and Culture. Journey to the West, one of China's four great classical novels, has captivated countless readers with its fascinating plot and unique character development. Beyond the exciting storylines, the novel also carries rich cultural connotations and profound human allegories. As a classic mythological tale, the depictions of demons in Journey to the West are quite intricate. Particularly in their appearance, which has intrigued many modern readers, in common portrayals, male demons often appear in a fierce, half-human, half-beast form, while female demons are almost always depicted as extraordinarily beautiful, sometimes so stunning that people forget they are demons. What deeper meaning lies behind this contrast between the grotesque, beast-like nature of male demons and the unparalleled beauty of female demons? According to some experts, male demons in Journey to the West are usually characterized by prominent half-human, half-animal traits. For example, the bull demon king has the head of a bull. The great immortal Xiongli has a bear's face, and the lion camel king has a lion's head. These depictions all exude an aura of savagery and violence. The novel frequently emphasizes their innate, formidable combat abilities. Often showing that when they reveal their true form, they exhibit even greater powers than when they maintain their human appearance. The half-human, half-beast forms are essentially a reflection of these demons returning to their roots. In battle, they regain their animal forms to enhance their combat prowess. This is vividly demonstrated in numerous fight scenes throughout the novel. For instance, during his battle with Sun Wukong. The bull demon king reveals his true form as a giant white bull to increase his strength. Likewise, the lion camel king and other demons rely on their primal beastly nature to fight. Through these depictions, the author conveys the savage nature of these demons and their reliance on brute strength to achieve victory. In stark contrast, female demons in the novel are typically portrayed as stunningly beautiful. Characters like the white bone spirit. The scorpion demoness and the jade-faced princess are frequently described using phrases like "as beautiful as the moon and flowers," a beauty capable of toppling kingdoms, and "as beautiful as a heavenly fairy." Their beauty is not just for visual pleasure; it often serves a specific purpose. The goals of female demons are usually not simple physical confrontations, but rather to achieve their objectives through charm and deception. While some of them do desire to eat Tang Sanzang's flesh to attain immortality, more often they attempt to seduce him or engage him in romantic affairs. For instance, the scorpion demoness tries to beguile Tang Sanzang with her beauty, while the spider demons repeatedly use their attractiveness to tempt both Tang Sanzang and Sun Wukong. For female demons, beauty is a tool; their weapons are seduction and emotions. Not brute force in battle. Thus, they maintain their beautiful human forms to fulfill their aims of manipulation or deception. If they were to revert to their original forms, they might lose their ability to charm and entice. Therefore, maintaining their human shape and beauty becomes an essential tactic for these female demons. The author's design of the male and female monsters in Journey to the West is not merely a matter of aesthetic differences, but rather a reflection of the different roles these characters play, which directly influences their appearance. Male monsters often represent power and challenges, serving as tough obstacles on the journey to retrieve the scriptures. The monk and his disciples must overcome them through force or strategy. Female monsters, on the other hand, typically symbolize desire and temptation, testing Tang Sanzang's emotional restraint and spiritual perseverance. Thus, the male monsters are depicted as ugly and ferocious to emphasize their combat strength and the threat they pose. Female monsters, however, appear as beautiful, with the intent of using their allure to deceive Tang Sanzang and others in order to achieve their goals. The image of male monsters corresponds directly to external challenges, while that of female monsters subtly embodies inner emotional and desire-based trials. As a supernatural novel, 
Journey to the West reflects traditional Chinese cultural views on gender, aesthetic standards, and literary styles through the design of its monsters. The contrast between male and female monsters' appearances not only creates vivid character images but also implies deeper cultural meanings. It is known that in traditional Chinese culture, men were typically associated with masculinity, strength, and authority, while women were seen as symbols of grace and submissiveness. This traditional gender perspective is reflected in the design of the monsters in Journey to the West. Male monsters are often depicted as rugged and powerful, aligning with the traditional image of men being strong and dominant. Female monsters, on the other hand, appear seductive and alluring, embodying the soft beauty traditionally attributed to women. This opposition between gender and appearance aligns with societal expectations of male and female images during that time. In ancient times, the standard of female beauty often included traits like willow-like eyebrows and almond-shaped eyes, and skin like congealed cream. In contrast, male traits focused on strength and fierceness. And the monster's images were shaped according to these aesthetic standards. In novels from the Ming and Qing dynasties, female characters frequently symbolize desire and temptation. The female monsters in Journey to the West often carry a sensual undertone. They not only use their beauty to lure Tang Sanzang but also represent emotional trials in the path of spiritual cultivation. For instance, the three transformations of the white bone spirit are essentially continuous tests of Tang Sanzang's emotional endurance. If Tang Sanzang could see through the glamorous facade, he could pass the test, however, if he were to be seduced by beauty, he would fall into the trap of desire. This kind of design is not uncommon in ancient Chinese literature. Many works use beautiful female characters to represent negative emotions such as desire, lust, and greed. The beauty of these female demons is a symbol of these negative emotions. Their beauty is often accompanied by danger, hinting at confusion and traps. It is worth mentioning that in Journey to the West, the appearance of the demons is not only a display of their species and abilities, but also a reflection on the relationship between the external and the internal. Many female demons, despite their beautiful appearance, are cunning and malicious inside, representing the contrast between outer beauty and inner ugliness. On the other hand, male demons, though often ugly and fierce in appearance, are not always evil at heart. Some even show a sense of justice. Such as the bull demon king, who is full of emotion and responsibility toward his family. This serves as a reminder to the reader not to be deceived by appearances. What truly matters is the inner good or evil of the demons. Journey to the West uses the design of demon characters to metaphorically explore the contradictions and complexities between the external and the internal in human nature. Echoing the Buddhist idea of all beings being equal, regardless of outward appearance. It is one's inner cultivation that ultimately determines one's fate. Some experts have commented that Journey to the West, as one of the representative novels of the Ming Dynasty, shapes its demon characters not only for narrative purposes but also to reflect common themes in Ming and Qing dynasty fiction. First, the beauty of the female demons catered to some readers' pursuit of female beauty at the time. Especially in Ming and Qing novels, women's appearances were often exaggerated and idealized, becoming eye-catching elements to attract readers. Even demon characters had to conform to the public's desire for beauty, which was a trend in the literature of that period. Secondly, the ugly appearance of male demons aligned with the traditional view of monsters in society. In ancient times, people generally believed that non-human creatures like demons and ghosts should possess strange and terrifying features. Thus, male demons in novels were often depicted as ugly, meeting the psychological expectations of the audience while enhancing the story's drama and tension. Therefore, the design of demon characters goes beyond entertainment and storytelling. 
It holds profound educational significance. Journey to the West uses the portrayal of demons to reflect ancient Chinese society's emphasis on moral ethics, desire control, and spiritual cultivation. In every battle with demons, the Tang monk and his disciples are not only overcoming external monsters but also constantly overcoming their inner desires and weaknesses. Ultimately achieving their goal of obtaining the true scriptures and reaching enlightenment. This is the History and Culture channel. Liking and subscribing are the greatest help and support to us. Thank you everyone, and see you in the next time.